and it was difficult and it was hard and it was lonely and I was depressed and it was it was so hard. But who I am now, I would never trade my life for the life that I was living. It is so complete and so full of joy and so full of passion that if, if I had just said, no, you know what, I'm just going to keep smoking weed or I'm just going to keep drinking or I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing, um, I, I would never be as full of, as, of life as I am. And um, I say all of this, um, that through the two examples in the Bible and my own personal experiences that I've shared with you, that we can learn two ways to persevere through really, really rough times in our life. And one is trust. We've got to trust God when he tells us to do something. There's just something that happens when we step out in faith and do it. And, and there's countless examples, examples that I haven't even told you in the Bible that where God has come through for his people after he's told them to do something. And he has never, never like let his people down. And, and he's faithful in that. And, and through Daniel, we can, we can learn to be faithful um, through the circumstances around us. And um, um, 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8 says, I fought the good fight, I finished the race, and I've kept the faith. Now there is in store for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only for me, but also to those who have longed for his appearing. Being faithful and trusting God through the difficult times in our life, reap a reward. And, and not saying that that's what we should be striving for, but I'm just saying that that's what's at the end. Climbing up that mountain, just seeing that sunset and seeing those stars and, and feeling the air on my face, that, that was such a great reward for my, my burning calf muscles and the food that was all gone, the water that I drank so much of. And, and even in Hebrews, it, it 10, 35 to 36 says, so do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. Um, you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. And, and there's countless, countless numbers of, of verses that, that talk about God rewarding you. And, and, and if you follow his will, he's going to come through for you. And I have a lot of faith in that. And so my question to you is, where are you guys on your mountain? Like, are you just trudging up and you're like, yeah, I'm doing great. And, and if you are, that's great. But, but maybe there's some of you who, who are, God's asking you to do something, and, and that's really hard, and you don't want to, and you're fighting him on it. And, and I just encourage you, like, take a step of faith. Like, get out of our boxes, out of our minds, and take a step of faith. And, and do it God's way for once, and see, see what, what comes through that. And, and maybe, maybe um, you're like Daniel, or maybe um, you're like my situation, where there's just circumstances flying around all over your life, and you're just you're just tired, like it's hard, you're just, you're just sad, and, and it's frustrating, and it's like, God, like living for you is hard, and I can't, like I don't know how. I encourage you to be faithful, just, just keep walking, like even though it's hard, and you don't know how, and maybe you don't have the passion that you once had when you're just like running up the hill, like just keep going, run, run towards it, because at the end, like that reward is better than giving up halfway through and going back down the mountain. And, and, and if I had given up halfway through when the rocks started scraping my ankles and stuff, I would have never seen that sunset or, or those beautiful stars. I would have seen everything down at the bottom of the hill that I had already seen, and it wouldn't have changed, and my life wouldn't have changed, and I wouldn't have grown a greater memory and a greater person. And, and um, I, just, I just really want to encourage us all to, to keep our eye on the prize. Um, at the top of the mountain and just keep trudging forward. Thanks.